it, and I am a salsa fanatic. I mean uh, from Portugal, Portugal, it's Moonspell, and I'd like to say welcome down to Ares and Ricardo here in Oslo. So um, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, just to start off with uh, here on the Typo Negative Tour, I know you've done a lot of touring, but would you say this is the most high-profile tour um, for Moonspell so far? Uh, I think so, because so far we did some other tours. Some of them were more in the... In the de death metal style, others were more metal, but this one is the one we think uh, we will be playing for a more wide audience, so I think so. Yeah. Excellent. So could we just talk a little bit about the um, history of Moonspell, Moon because you've been around for about four years and it seems that you've had a very steady um, career progression from an EP to an album and you've moved up on every stage, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, we tried really hard so far to do things as we think they should have been they should have been done with a with a band, because we were on a small label first. Mm -hmm. It's a Deposter record. It's a French label, and then we record a mini album. And since the the mini album was quite, I mean, it got some of the intentions of other of other labels. Mm -hmm. We got a deal with Century Media, which is a, our current label. And that made us like progress a little bit more. And every record we have done so far, uh, I think we have kind of climbed the step, and that's good for us. about your album um, Irreligious, uh, I was interested in um, what the actual title signified um, and how it relates to the songs. Um, is it indifference to religion or is it anti-religion or is it, you know, what's the stance? I think it's like um, that we are approaching to a new millennium and uh, that fact contributes to, to a more open mind for everyone in, in the world. I think, and that means that probably it's time for us human beings to start start thinking that we don't really need religion or anyone above us. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the new millennium um, is pretty soon to happen, we should uh, just uh, accept the freedom that should come from there. And that's like um, a non-religion statement, not right. anti or, or pro-religion, but just like we don't need religion. Um, and I just wanted to uh, bring up the subject of the video, <laughs> Ares, because um, uh, we want to make it clear that the video um, was not acceptable to MTV, not judged by MTV, but MTV is governed by another body called the Independent Tele Television Commission, and they deemed the video to be unacceptable because um, they said that it was a narrative about Class A drugs and it didn't actually... Um, present a worthy message against drugs. Um, I'd like you to answer that. Um, well, unfortunately, it seems to be to be true. I mean that uh, in some places the video cannot be broadcast because it's classified as a, an aid drug, something you know. But um, basically, it's about uh, uh, poetry and about the influences that some of poets used to have by taking these kind of drugs, you know. And uh, we are not asking people or inviting people to experiment it. It's up to each one. And that's uh, why the record is also called Irreligious, you know. It's up to each one to do whatever they want uh, about drugs, sex, or anything else. So we are just um, portraying or relating uh, uh, about a story that we know it happened in Portugal. It's something like a Portuguese famous poet that used to take drugs and well, lots of them did. Yeah, so it's nothing really dangerous or but anyway, what can we do? Right. Well, I'd like to apologize to you and all the Moonspell fans that we're not allowed to show the video, but I hope that you guys understand it's not us saying that and um, it's important that you do understand that. So um, thank you very much and um, I'd like to compliment you on your excellent English as well. Oh, thank you very it's much. Very nice talking to you. And um, anyway, who cares about videos really because uh, I think live says a lot more, don't you? Uh, I think um, to experiment the Moonspell live show it's much more important than just to watch the video. So. Absolutely. So let's check out Moonspell live here in Oslo. Nice talking to you, thanks. Yeah. 
are packing a razor blade suitcase for their return trip to the top of the charts their new single swallowed entered the u.s radio airplay at number six the highest debut ever so 